Welcome to our lecture online. Just like with sequences going from the sequence to an expression in terms of n, here in series going from a series and turn into a, some notation using the sigma notation is a little bit more difficult. Somehow we have to convert it to something that looks like this. The summation where i is equal to from one number to another number of some expression over there so that it equals this sum right there. All right, typically we want to start from i equals 1 and then we have an upper limit. The upper limit usually expresses how many terms we have. There's five, four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, so we go from i equals 1 to 4. But then if I, if I plug in i here, notice that my first term would start equal with 1. And I start with a 2, so that's 1 more than 1, so I need to add 1 to the i. Now I can see that if I replace i by 1, I get 1 plus 1, which is 2, which I have over here. Then if I replace i by 2, I get 2 plus 1, which is 3, which is my next term, and it looks like I managed to do what I needed to do. Again, the idea is that you start at i equals 1, the number on top is the number of terms, and then when you find your first term, we need to find the equivalence. So when i is equal to 1, add 1 to it, you get 2, and then you can see that if each term increases by 1, we just simply need to write it like that. Notice that this would equal 1 plus 1, plus 2 plus 1, plus 3 plus 1, plus 4 plus 1. And of course that becomes equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, which is the series that we started with. So we found the correct expression using the sigma notation by making that conversion like that. And that is how it's done with an easy example. They get more difficult, so stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that when things become a little bit more difficult. 